G'day, I'm Ruben, and I've been playing around with a no-input mixing board, or NIMB for short, for a few years, uh, and I've often used a visualization like this, which is a Lissajou curve. I have a primer video from 2020 that gives an intro to both these things. In recent videos, I've done musical improv using the NIMB instrument and overlaid the visualization like this, but this time I'm not seeking a musical result as much as hunting for interesting shapes. And the one we're looking at I've prepared earlier, but let's have a play around from here and see what we can come up with while I tell you a little bit more about what I'm doing and what's going on. A NIMB is an instrument you can make by plugging outputs of a mixer back into its inputs which creates feedback loops and kind of turns it into a bit of a synthesizer where things like the level knobs start to change the frequency of the feedback tone. Uh, here I've got channels three and four panned hard left and right to make separate loops, so two different tones, plus one center panned loop that goes via that yellow overdrive pedal. I've long used a digital audio tool called a phase scope. It's commonly used when mixing and mastering music to check for phase or polarity issues and see the stereo width visually represented. And the resulting shape is a Lissajou curve or Lissajou figure. Wikipedia says it's the graph of a system of particular uh, parametric equations which describe complex harmonic motion. And what I think I understand is that the ratio between the frequencies of the signals in each channel determines how complex the shape is. And because the no input mixing board is quite unwieldy, it's not like I can generate nice pure sine waves at specific frequencies to make a nice clean ABC logo, uh, which is a one to three ratio, by the way. The NIMB is much more explorative. I should say the phase scope software I'm using for the Lissajou figure is called Pretty Scope by Sound Emote, and it's geared towards making pretty visualizations instead of it being strictly an audio analysis tool like most phase scopes. That totally said 69 just then. Nice. And I'm not sure how and why you can sometimes make stuff that seems so wonderfully asymmetrical. I'm actually not sure what makes some shapes stable or static and others kind of seem to rotate or if they are even actually rotating as opposed to that being an illusion created by literally 2D lines on an XY plot. I kind of think it's the latter. I'm sure a maths person would be able to set me straight on that. I love this one that is rotating uh, at an uneven speed like like rolling an egg. Let's see if we can generate an ABC logo or something close to it. I think we're getting in the ballpark. I'm not sure why it's angular instead of curved. Maybe it's to do with the shape of the wave, like I'm sure I'm generating something that's a bit more distorted and square, wavy than a sine wave that you might put in a 
oscilloscope and get a perfect round shape. Yeah, I'm calling that good enough. Da na na. Thanks for watching, everyone. See ya.